You need to stop apologizing for everything. I like to think that this is a very relaxed kind of project. If you can't get a video up when by Wednesday one week, like, whatever, put it up on Thursday, you know? It's not a big deal. And you need to stop worrying that all your videos are, are fail-tastic, because they're not. And so, so, yeah. I don't have anything else to say while I point at you or my computer. So I'm just gonna move on. Um, it's Thursday. I'm moving back to school on Sunday. So I really should be like packing or something now, but I'm not. So, oops. Um, but yeah, next time you see me, I will be not in this room anymore. I will be in my room at school which will hopefully be nicely decorated and such. And yeah, I'm having a bit of a crisis now because I am I always do this. I'm so, such an undecisive person. I always like change my mind about my classes the week before they start. So basically my problem right now is I'm not, obviously not sure yet what I want to major in. And the two main contenders are environmental geoscience and studio art. And so I kind of have to choose one because I don't want a double major because it sorts of, it like rules out the possibility of doing anything else at all. Like I couldn't take like random classes that sounded interesting because I would have so many requirements for my majors, which would suck. So I'm trying to, I'm, I'm switching things around. I'm going to try to get into a painting class that is full, which hopefully will happen, but you know, might be tough and all this stuff. I think I'm going to take anthropology which sounds random, but it will be interesting. And it kind of relates to geoscience and art, which is kind of cool. Plus, why else do I go to like a liberal arts college if I'm not gonna take random things like anthropology, you know? So that's my conundrum in a nutshell. Very small nutshell, like an almond or something, not a walnut shell. I should stop talking about this now. Um, so, you sounds like you've had a very busy week. All the working and the football stuff and the everything. I'm glad Class of 84 was good, though. It sounds, the, the Alex not wearing pants thing does sound really awkward. But yeah, it seems, sounds like a good time. And I'm glad you had fun. And I'm glad you got to see Joella and everything. And, and, and yeah. Sorry you're working all the time and have some fun with your life, please. Oh, I really should start packing now. I have, like, so much stuff all over the place, and my desk is, like, full of crap. This book, well, not crap, but, you know, crap, like this book, which I'm reading, My Life in France. I saw the movie Julie and Julia. I don't know if you saw it. Maybe you did. I don't know, but I loved it, and I decided to read this book. And I've got, like, pens. Oh, my God. Sharpie pens are, like, the best thing in the world. You should get some. Seriously. I saw the commercial for them and I decided to go buy them and <laughs> so I have them and they're like amazing. I love these things. And I've got like a knitting needle and like this. I'm like trying to figure out classes. Ah, so much random stuff. Ugh. Anyway. Um. I really don't want to pack. I don't like packing. It's not fun. I'll just like chuck stuff in a box. Mm. You asked me what my favorite season is. I have always had so much trouble with this question because like, okay, I love fall. Fall is very like crisp and cool and just like it smells like fall and the leaves start turning and there's pumpkins and apples and like you get to wear sweatshirts and like it's just so like crisp and you get to like shuffle through leaves. I don't know. I like fall. And then winter. I love winter because I love snow and I love sledding and like everything to do with snow and cold things and spring. I like spring because by the end of winter it's gotten gross and gray and I'm tired of it and spring is like new life and it's all green and happy and lush 
And then summer, I like mostly because there's no school because I hate heat. I like can't stand summer when it gets really hot. This summer, I feel cheated because we had like no summer at all because it was really cold and rainy most of the time and then we had like a few weeks of wicked hot weather. And I hate hot weather, but still I wish we had more of it because it didn't feel like summer and you know, I didn't get to complain about it as much, which is always a plus. So, I don't know, right now I'm saying that my favorite season is fall, but that's just because probably because I'm anticipating fall a lot because it's like starting soon. And so, I really don't know. If you asked me in like three months, my favorite season would be winter, and then it would be spring, and then it probably wouldn't be summer, it would be fall again. Summer is my least favorite season, despite no school. Like, just for the seasonal aspect, I don't like hot weather, so summer's, summer's my least favorite. Beyond that, I don't, I don't know! And I've been trying and trying to think of a question for you, but I'm like so bad at this question thing. Ugh. Um, think, think, think. I don't know. I don't know. Someone help me think of a question. Someone, like, post a question in the comments. My question is, if you could build me a question generating machine, would you? No, that's not my question. I was just saying that. I really need to stop, like, talking about things when I don't have to. Um, I'm gonna hold off on the question until next week, because I can never think of questions, and maybe I will think of something in a week. Or maybe I'll think of two questions to make up for it. Maybe. So yeah, that is about it for now. I'm gonna go and... I love you, and, um, bye.